Welcome guys to another video and today's video is the Lil Mosey topic again, okay? And you're wondering why I'm making a part two to this story. Anyway, well, I want to fill in the information that we have gotten or the more information we've gotten recently. So, for one, I hope his lawyer is not lying. Of course, whatever. Eh. It, it, he's truly innocent. But, okay, let's think of this. How would he be innocent if the girl, the one girl... Knows exactly, she blacked out and then she exactly knows what happened, okay? Either, I don't know, either, either he's going to be found guilty or he's not going to be found guilty, that's, but if he's convicted or found guilty, he's facing life in prison, so... Really hope his his lawyer can get the, him out of here, out of this, I should say. But uh, even though I'm a little Muzzy fan, if he did it, he really needs to pay the price. He needs to face some time. And like, she knows exactly all like what happened. So like. See, I don't know how you black out and then remember most. I don't know. I don't know. She remembers most. She gave the details. Gave the info. There's an article. So, like, if you if you want to go find it, you can. Because, uh, I don't know where exactly it is at. Because... I should probably cite my sources here, but uh, ahead of time, I don't have the the site. But if I eventually do, if I find it, I'll try to find it and put it in the description down below. But she said uh, that she uh, blacked out after drinking white calls and champagne. And then he, Lil Mosey, did it and then... She, uh, some other dude forced himself on her also, okay? And so that's, that's not good for the other guy. And because should have probably brought this up in the first part was, uh, everybody in that cabin that was there is going to be, like, asked. There's going to be statements, Okay. And also, like, I don't know, it's just it's so bad for Lil Mosey. I really hope he's innocent and she's somehow lying at the same time. Like, this is, I don't know, man. This is one thing. I don't want to pick sides because if I pick sides, I'm going to look wrong, wrong, wrong. Because, like, even if I do pick the woman side, the women's side, then I'm going uh, to still probably say, I hope this is not true, but I don't want to, like, pick a side in this. But, uh, I don't, I don't know truly what to think okay i'm not sure i don't know i don't know but she she hold that she got bruises on her neck her inner knee like all these places and i really okay she wants to prove these which of course she could just like of course she can have those she could just have those but if, if she wants to prove them which she probably will if she's like whatever she'll give pictures like show pictures of it 
and which is great evidence for her, horrible evidence for Mosey and the other guy, whatever, I don't know, so, and, and there's another, there's another little, like, like, evidence that somebody heard two guys or whatever, so to her, uh, something about two guys uh, teaching two girls. Well, in the first part, I did get wrong. She didn't come alone. She came with a, a girlfriend of hers and uh, practice or learning or teaching, I mean, God, teaching two girls. The two girls would be the girl with the bruises and stuff, and the other girl. I don't know if the other girl has spoken out about it, because it would be better for the case, for their side, if she spoke out. I don't know if she has. Um, all in all, I, I really want to say M Mosey's not guilty and he's innocent, but at the same time, I don't want to pick sides on this. And so I'm just going to keep my opinion, or not my opinion, but like what I wish would happen and what I want to see happen <clears throat> because I'm biased. I'm technically biased because I'm a fan of Mosey, <clears throat> you could say, <clears throat> but I'm not because like truly like rape is serious <clears throat> either way. Like, if the guy actually did it, if he didn't do it, and she's lying, I don't know. <clears throat> and before I end this video, I just want to say to all the girls and women out there, please don't lie about rape. And I'm not saying she lied about Lomozi raping her, okay? But I'm just saying falsifying a rape or telling saying that somebody raped you or a guy raped you but he didn't and you're trying to get him in trouble and ruin his life think twice because that is not something you lie about that could ruin take time away from the person that you're saying raped you but that didn't rape you so I just got to say, okay, don't lie about rape, and here's a hot take, I don't know if it's in my hot takes video, go watch that, but <clears throat> a hot take right here, or my opinion, like, like a serious opinion, girls that lie about rape should have consequences, They should have consequences about lying such as for for such a serious like crime and stuff. They should have they should serve time for lying or get in some some kind of trouble. Okay. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh I informed you about some more information if you don't already know yourself which you probably do I'm still posting this just for the people that don't really keep up with a little mosey or this situation so yeah hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you in the next video peace